Oh, I think maybe I need more time to master that technique. This year, in, in case you could try to, to, to get a, another curry from the future or, or maybe the past, I will put this in Mr. Lister's laundry basket. Quite a safe place to hide things. No one going there, but even in a full radiation suit and a three foot pair of sterilized tongs. Hmm. Piece of that big fat sausage in there. Uh, I am sorry, sir. I don't appear to have a sausage attachment on me at the moment. What the hell? Who in the blue blazes are you? Uh, I'm Crichton, sir. Mechanite Series 284B Fighter 3 Pre, sir. Uh, uh, and you might be? Well, I'm Captain Hollister of the JMC Mining Dressel Red Dwarf. Well, you, you don't look anything like Mr. Hollister, sir. I've seen your picture right before Mr. Lister pinned it to the dartboard and threw sharp pointy sticks at it. Look, you're in trouble now, mister. If this ship's got a brig, you're on it. First you, uh, interrupt my lunch, and... You know, what are you gonna do with that chicken? Oh, what's this, sir? <sighs> okay, then. Now, beam me back, you metal moron. Come on, come on. The short term mouth takes you out so slow. Come on, I'm on a roll. Quiet. I'm thinking. This game takes a lot of strategic thought and patience, you know. Come on, slow coach. By the time you play the card, it'll be time for my eighth news of the day. And anyway, what's with the face? There's nothing wrong with my boat race. It's one I always wear. No, not your ugly mush, but the face you're pulling. This is what I call a poker face. Now let me concentrate. Right, now, let's try again, shall we, you hexadecimal half-wit? Right though, matey. Hey, who are you calling hexadecimal? I've got an IQ of 6,000. Well, it's got a 6 in it, but I'm sure it isn't 6,000. Now, let's try again, shall we? Sure. Come on, hit me with it one more time. I'm ready. I can do anything. Enough. Right, let's concentrate. What's 3 plus 4? You really are a complete gimboid, aren't you? I give up. Right, uh, I think I'll play this one. <laughs> Snap, I win again, buddy. I'm so good, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I hate this game. What's Rimmer up to, anyway? Uh, he's trying to teach that blonde computer to be smart. Ha! <laughs> That's like trying to get an Alpine Shepherd herder to build an MFI cabinet. Uh, 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 who are you to him? Uh, what have you do with Mr. Lister and Mr. Cat? Hey buddy, how's it going? Have you been sticking your head in the microwave oven again, Quietin? It's us, Custer and Kit. Oh, now I see. I must have accidentally jumped into an alternative dimension when I picked up this pesky malfunctioning matter paddle. What's that you got there, Quietus? Uh, it allows you to travel some time and space. But fortunately, it appears to be malfunctioning at the moment. I must have accidentally jumped into this parallel universe and swapped places with you, old Oh, I think I understand what's happening now. First time this year. We've lost Red Dwarf. Well, Hilly's lost Red Dwarf. I haven't lost it. I just can't remember where I parked it. You thinking what I'm thinking, bud? Yeah, let's grab it. What you made me do. We could be anywhere at any time. Hey, what is this place? These windows are just made for my reflection. I have a strange feeling in my guilt chip. The last time we used the mud puddle, we changed the course of history and altered the future of JFK. When you erase fried chicken takeaways from history, I think you did Earth a favor. 
Where are we now? Who cares where we are now, as long as there's a mirror? Looks like a small room or a cupboard. Hmm, definitely not stone. Hey, Whimsy, how come you got a different strides on? Uh, Mr. Lister, I, I believe that maybe the mat puddle has, has messed up his holographic matrix, or, or perhaps he's just been using his trousers as a latrine again. Home sweet home for you, eh, Captain Bugbutt? What a smee! What a smee! All these mirrors, man, you gotta help me! All this jumping around makes me hungry, and after all, this is a kitchen, I think. Well, sir, I think we have more pressing matters at the moment, other than ensuring that your well ample frame is more ample. Quite. Haven't you got that matter paddle fixed yet? Why don't you just cross the dimensional feedback circuit with the crosswave amplitude supply? Who's kidnapped Rimmer and left someone with brain cells in his place? Oh, this rumor, sir, uh, I've already tried that, and uh, it simply appears to be frozen. Let's put our heads together and think of an intelligent solution. What if we place it in the microwave? Oh, it's okay. Our room is back. Hey, look, an old style vending machine. Well, that seems to have done the trick, sirs. Quick, someone's coming! Freeze! Put your hands in the air! Phew, thank goodness for shirt tape. Ah, local law enforcement time. Captain Hollis group, the JMC mining vessel, Red Dwarf. Uh, I've been unscrupulously kidnapped by this git rimmer. Likely story indeed. Spaceship! Well, he does seem to know your name. But that's Rimmer, the biggest smeghead and the most useless technician in the universe. Both of you remain here whilst I call the police. Well, I'm on a spaceship, it's big and it's red! I'm from the future! Rimmer! 